Okay, so the next step is to take some greaseproof paper and roll it out. We're going to cover as much of this work surface as we can. Actually, it isn't necessary to put the greaseproof paper because I've actually piped soap straight on top of the worktop before and just taken it off. Once it's dry, it pops off with a paint scraper. But um, because this is something I'm going to be selling, I'm just going to um, put the greaseproof paper on. It'll make it easier to get off the worktop. So I'm just going to put it right across there. As it curls in, I'm going to turn it over. And that way it sits flat. It sits flat better. So we're just going to pop some cellar tape on here. And this is that, I've never known greaseproof paper as slippy as this. And I think it's Sainsbury's uh, make. And then we'll do the same at the other end. And then I'm going to put some more out. Just make sure the whole surface is covered. see why I need to do this in the next step. Okay, so we've got our big bock. Big bock? We've got a big bock. We've got a big block of chocolate out here. It's not real chocolate, it's soap. It looks like chocolate, but it's not. So what I need to do before I cut it is just mark exactly where I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to cut it one point, uh, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, 1.2 inches each slice. And I'm putting the marks at this end because when I put the block on the cutter, I want the cutter, the wire, in exactly the right position and you can do that better if the wire is nearer to the mark. No, that's not working. I think I've made a mistake with the the measurement there. So one, two, one, two, one, two. That's it. That's exactly right. So I'm just showing you where I've marked it all the way along the soap. And when I go to cut it, I'm going to put the wire exactly where that mark is. And then we'll end up with an even, every slice will be exactly the same depth. 
okay so you can see exactly where the wire is it's lined up with that mark there at the other opposite side I've marked exactly the same mark uh, because there's a hole in the cutter so you can line up your um, get your settings absolutely perfect for cutting And that's down here this one you can just see it there so we're just gonna we're gonna slide that through I'm just taking a block off here And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it along again, get the wire into position and I'm going to slide the guiding band across and then that will keep it nice and straight. So we're going to end up with, with blocks like that. Again, it smells delicious. Smells like after eight or peppermint creams or peppermint patties, I think they're called in some countries. one more cut on here now what's important with the next step the step after this well actually no the step after the next step because I need to cut these into smaller lengths is the step after this needs to be done as quick as possible while the soap on the outside is still kind of moist. So I'm just going to Remove this cutter now and I'm going to get my smaller cutter for the next part. Okay, so let's slice her up.
For this part, just take some kebab sticks, snap them in half like this, turn one end round so both your rough ends are at one end. Put your neat ends at the other end. So I've, I've already done 30, I need 40. So I've got all my neat ends at this side and all my rough ends at this side. Right, the reason we've got the rough ends to one side is we're actually going to insert these into the into each bar like this. Push it in as far as you can without it pop. It doesn't even matter if it pops out the other end. Um, if you push this end in, the rough end into the soap, we're actually going to be pulling it out later and you might end up with some of these little bits stuck in the soap and you definitely don't want that. So I'm going to do this with every bar. You might have worked out what we're going to do with these soaps. Okay, so now we've got our soap, it's thickened up and you can see it's nice and thick, not overly thick and we're going to take our delicious chunk of chocolate soap and we're going to dip it, dip it in there like that and then we're just going to we're going to pop it down 
onto the cling film. I'm pushing it down a little bit because I want it to splodge out on the bottom. And then I will be taking the lolly sticks out later, the kebab sticks I mean. This one just snapped. Just gonna change my glove. So I'm just gonna continue dipping these beauties. One more for you. scored just ready to set and be posted out I 
hope you enjoyed that one everybody thanks so much for watching bye bye for now Whoops, I forgot to put my gold leaf on. So I'm just going to break that up and just plop a piece on each. Soap. gold thumb yeah it's no good getting it on your fingers it actually melts it's weird I hope it's okay on soap I hope it doesn't disintegrate Because it is the edible kind. You know, you see them working with this and it never looks the easiest thing to work with and it definitely lives up to that. to it. Oops, got it on my finger again. I think that'll do for now, won't it? Okay, so it really is. Bye bye for now. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget you can win one of these beauties by liking this video, subscribing to this channel and placing a comment down in the description. Winner will be picked in a two to four weeks time. Bye bye for now. Again. <laughs>